Hello, my name is Stevie Martin with the VIA Service Building Engineering Team. This video will discuss issues with the VIA Live Engage environment not starting and what to look for in resolving the issue. Most of the time when you cannot connect to an VIA Live Engage environment, the issue will be a network issue, a server in the cloud or some other reason why you cannot access your environment. On occasion, the problem is with the VIA Live Engage environment itself. When that happens, you can either see a screen like the one in front of you right now saying cannot connect to the server. It's possible you might just see the screen where it keeps rolling, 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 attempting to log in for a long period of time before it times out. To resolve these issues, you need to go to the actual desktop for the server. When you're on the desktop, the first thing you want to do is check the logs. There are various logs on the ViLive Engage desktop. The ones you want to look at for the actual functioning of the server itself are in the web.live data store folder W, the web.live folder, your system ID, which for this setup is number one, the logs folder. When you're in the log folder, you want to look at any of your logs that are called chainsaw and audit for connection issues. If you're trying to debug a voice issue, look at the TVC logs within voice client and also, also the audit and chainsaw logs. Sometimes it'll be very clear an issue in these logs, sometimes it won't. Either way, one of the options to try to restore the service to the server if it's not a network issue is to stop and start the services and start and stop the web page in IIS Manager. These are common steps that support has used in the past to uh, resolve these type of issues. Also, on very rare occasions, if the server that the VIA Live Engage has been installed on reboots, a service won't quite come up correctly. This is a rare th thing to happen, but it, it's been seen once or twice. When you go into the Services Manager for Release 3.0, it's Web Alive Service. For this example, I had stopped the service, which caused the error that we looked at at the very beginning. So when you come in here, if you look for this service, you'll see the status is blank, which means it's not started, and you just restart it. If it is running, you can just stop it and then start it to see if that reinitializes the environment. While we're in the Services Manager window, we'll look at a couple other items that you have to know there. There's the WA Tunnel Proxy Service, the WA Stats Service, and the DW Server, which stands for Diamondware Server. The DW server and the DW mixer are your audio components of VIA Live Engage. If you're having consistent audio issues in environments and the logs ain't really showing you what you need, you can stop and start this service to see if it helps. It's not a guarantee that it will, but it's, it's a nice first simple step in supporting the product you know, to see if it resolves the issue. Next, we'll go to the IIS manager and show the steps we can take to restart an environment. In the IIS management, we have two sites, the default website and the internal site. Both these sites should be restarted in two ways. You select the site, and on the right-hand side, you see under Manage Website, the Restart button, or you can stop it and then start it. The other way is to go right-click, Manage Website, Restart. You can also do this for the internal site if there's ever a need. Once you have completed your basic debug steps of restarting the services, you can see if it's resolved your issue. If these steps didn't resolve your problems, you take it to next level support. If this were an environment in the VIA Live Cloud, and this would be a VIA support person doing the resolutions. If they have problems, they need to escalate it to the next level of support. For on-premise software, this could very well be a customer resolving the issue, then their next step would contact a VIA the tier three support to try to resolve the issue. Thank you for your time today. We hope this information was useful to you. We welcome comments, questions, and feedback at mentor at avaya.com or on Twitter at avaya mentor. Thank you for choosing avaya.